Oh yeah, Rivers back with Tech Connect. And today I wanna to take a look at the iPad Pro third generation. I wanna look at the video editing on here using LumaFusion. And I wanna compare the render times to that on a Windows PC running Adobe Premiere 2019 CC. Now that computer is running on an AMD Threadripper 1950, which is a 16 core processor with 32 threads. So it is a beast when it comes to rendering video. Let's see how it compares to this guy right here. Now I'm not looking at what is the overall best program, I just wanna get the best end result. Which one can output the rendered video the fastest? So let's start off with LumaFusion on the iPad Pro. This is a video I made for my trip to Hawaii, and this is all actually 4K footage. Most of it was shot on the Sony A7R III, and it handles it pretty well, and it looks amazing on the iPad Pro screen. Now I tried to make the edit more challenging for the processor by adding a lot of color correction, speed up, slow down, a few effects, things like that. So here are my render settings. I'm gonna output in 4K, 30 frames per second. I'm going to output it at H.264, and the megabits per second are gonna be 75 megabits per second. That way the quality will stay nice and high because this footage looks really crisp and I don't wanna to get too much compression in there. Now I'm gonna speed this up to save time, but the video is about two minutes and 17 seconds long, and it renders in just about real time, which is amazing for a 4K 30 frame per second video. We finish up at two minutes and 29 seconds. Now we're gonna do the same thing in Adobe Premiere. I made a very similar clip with color correction, sped up video, a little bit of stabilization, uh, things to push the CPU. And we're gonna do this one in the fastest setting that I can do on here, which is constant bit rate, one pass encoding H.264. So this is the fastest that I can get Premiere to render on my Threadripper 16 core system. And it's coming in right at three minutes and three seconds. The clip is the same length. So still a good time, but we're gonna get bigger file sizes without doing two pass encoding. So we already have iPad Pro slightly beating Adobe Premiere on a 16 core Threadripper system. Let's go ahead and turn up the quality settings on Adobe Premiere and see what happens. So this time we're gonna do a two pass encode which does a lot better quality. It goes through once and calculates all the bit rates and then the second time it actually encodes it. So we'll do the baseline at 45 megabits per second and the peaks at 75. And this gets you good quality with low file sizes, but it takes twice as long. We'll also check the render at maximum quality setting. This renders it out at 32 bit internally. So it gets you better quality, especially in effects and things like that as well. So this time it took more than twice as long to render and it came out at six minutes and about 27, 28 seconds. So a little bit slower, but you're gonna get a smaller file size. And that's important when you're uploading to YouTube and you don't have a very fast connection, it could save you an hour right there. And finally, I wanted to test both apps rendering in H.265. H.265 is a next generation codec for high resolutions like 4K and 8K. Uh, it saves a lot of space, or if you turn up the bitrate, you can get even higher quality. So I ran it on the iPad Pro in LumaFusion, and to my surprise, H.265 actually rendered faster than H.264. So you can see here, it's really cooking. And if you've used H.265 in other programs, you know that it's really slow. So I think the iPad actually has a hardware chip in there that helps it render faster. We ended up finishing the H.265 render in two minutes and 14 seconds, which was even faster than the H.264 and way faster than Adobe Premiere's render of over 15 minutes. So we saw that actually using an iPad Pro and LumaFusion did a really good job editing and the rendering speed is actually a little bit faster on the iPad than on my AMD Threadripper with 16 cores. That kind of blew me away. Plus using H.265 was about seven times faster on here, which also was pretty cool. Now is LumaFusion better than Adobe Premiere? Probably not, but Adobe Premiere has some really high quality. It's, I think it's really easy to edit with. It's just a little bit slower, but it is a very powerful program, but it's a very expensive program. I pay like 20 bucks a month just for Premiere and like Photoshop. Uh, this guy is like $20 or $25 for the whole program outright. So if you wanna go travel and go lightweight and just have an iPad, go vlogging and you only traveling wherever you only have this or maybe even your iPhone, you could do it all on uh, LumaFusion. Lightweight, minimalist setup. 
But what I would recommend is get an iPad or iPhone with as much storage as you can because that 4K footage takes up a ton of space. This whole project was about 70 gigs and I actually transferred it from my computer using an app called Send Anywhere which let me do it over my Wi-Fi network really fast. You could also plug a camera in here but say you have it from multiple sources like a couple phones, a couple cameras, it might be easier just to use Send Anywhere. And then for music, I couldn't use Send Anywhere. I had to use Google Drive to transfer my royalty free music onto here as well. So I'll have an Amazon link in the description where you can get an iPad like this for a good deal. And I'll have a link to LumaFusion in the description down below. Be sure and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and as always, aloha.